Today we'll show you how to clean the battery clips for the flashlight. You can see here is very corroded. This was from my flashlight that uses the uh, AA batteries. And show you this battery here is quite corroded and all of the uh, battery liquid leaks out and goes onto this clip right here and made it really corroded. I try to use a wire brush to clean this piece but it doesn't seem to want to come out and see on this side here there's still quite a bit of corrosion on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use some vinegar okay put my glass container here and then I'm just gonna dip this in. It's gonna take a while for the vinegar to dissolve the blue sticky substance in here which is a salt of copper. So I'm gonna just put this in the microwave and heat it up make it uh, not hot but warm enough and then I'm gonna put this in and that will accelerate the reaction process. So it's been only about five minutes. Didn't take me long at all. Let me show you what we got in here. The bubble stop and the blue stuff is absolutely gone. And this looks more like copper now. No more blue stuff sticking on the metal. So what I gotta do now is to clean this up and then I gotta neutralize the acid on this piece of metal because if you just leave it like this it will continue to corrode the metal and uh, it, it will turn blue again. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get rid of this acid solution and then pour water in here and then I'm gonna use uh, baking soda to neutralize the acid on the metal tap. Right, so now let's put some water in here. And then uh, put some baking soda on here. Make sure that it dissolves. And then just put the metal tap back in so that will clear the acid will neutralize the acid uh, on the metal tap so it does it uh, will stop the acid from corroding the metal tap anymore okay so I'm just gonna let it sit I'm just gonna let it sit for uh, five ten minutes and that should do right so it's been about five minutes let's see what we got here that's beautiful copper it's very nice so let me explain what's going on uh, by the way this piece right here is pretty much good to go so all I have to do is just to put it back to my flashlight and it will be good as new and right now so let me explain what's going on the chemistry behind this and this is just for entertaining only for the geeks out there so basically we have two kinds of battery here for uh, AA and AAA batteries you have alkaline battery like this one and we have zinc acid battery like this one here um, usually it says on the battery extra heavy duty uh, whatever heavy duty it is it's not really heavy duty but uh, that's what they usually put on a zinc acid battery so on this battery on the alkaline battery it's usually the electrolyte is made up of potassium hydroxide on the alkaline battery on the zinc acid battery usually the electrolyte is 
ammonia chloride and H4Cl. So on this side here, if you have potassium hydroxide and uh, if you have a terminal, copper terminal like this one here, it will react with copper to form copper hydroxide and potassium. And copper hydroxide is a solid, so I'm going to put an arrow here, pre precipitate, and it is blue. That's why we see the blue solid on the battery terminal. On the other hand, a, a zinc acid battery like this, it will react with copper and will form copper chloride and ammonia and H3 and water. But in reality, this is going to be more like this. So let me rewrite this. We have NH4Cl plus Cu. Oh, usually copper is copper oxide, right? If you put copper in the air, it's easily oxidized. So it's going to form copper chloride, NH3, ammonia, and water. And let's balance this. So we got two of this and two of this. All right, so balance. This is what we get if we use zinc carbon battery. I'll show you the carbon rod here on this battery. You see that rod right in the center? That's a carbon rod. So when you use uh, zinc carbon battery, you're going to see this. Okay, it's, this is also kind of bluish color. If you use alkaline battery like this one here, you get this copper hydroxide on the terminal. So on the alkaline battery terminal, we got uh, copper hydroxide, right? So we use uh, acetic acid or vinegar to remove the uh, copper hydroxide. So let me write out the reaction here. We got copper hydroxide. That's a blue stuff that got stuck on the terminal here. React with vinegar, which is acetic acid. We'll get copper acetate and water. And we got two of this and also two water. So this is the reaction that dissolved the copper hydroxide, the blue stuff on the terminal here to form copper acetate. And that's how we can remove the blue stuff from the terminal with this reaction by using acetic acid or vinegar. On the other hand, if you use a zinc carbon battery like this one here, what you have on the terminal is copper chloride or this right here um, you cannot use acetic acid to clean up copper chloride so let me write out the reaction here you got copper chloride on the terminal right if you use zinc carbon battery now you put acetic acid in there or vinegar you're gonna get what Copper acetate. That's not right. C U C H three C O O two times plus H C L. Right. But because this acid is a lot stronger than this acid, so the reaction doesn't go this way, but rather it goes this way. So if you put vinegar in copper chloride, this reaction does not happen. So you cannot use vinegar to clean up copper chloride on the terminal. That's when you use zinc carbon battery. So there you have it. Just the chemistry behind all this process. 
And again, this is for entertaining only if you're interested in chemistry like me. But anyway, um, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.